which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. United News, your only source for the latest Ocrest and national news stories making headlines. Today is Friday, September 23, 2011. I'm Michelle, and with me today is Chris. On today's show, we'll take a look at what sports you can expect to see both tomorrow and today, as well at, as what newest creation just broke the, another world record and landed in the Guinness Book of World Records. That's as well as today's weather forecast that you don't want to miss, because there might just be a change in the skies. We'll have more on that in just a moment, but for right now, thanks for joining us today, and if you're watching us on YouTube, you're in the right place where you can always find our most current as well as past episodes. And don't forget, if there's news or stories you'd like to see featured on our show, send us an email or get to us on Twitter. Our email address, talentproduction at yahoo.com, is at the bottom of the screen, and you can always drop off announcements and sports scores to the media studio. All right, let's start out today with Spirit Week. The time has come to show just how much you love Oakcrest and your support for the athletic teams. All this week and next week, each day will have a special theme for you to get excited about and wear your favorite outfit for. Starting today, everyone is showing off how you bleed blue and gray by wearing everything blue and gray for the pep rally and the big games later on today. On Monday, on Monday next week, find the funkiest clothes you can find in your closet and put them all together for Mitch and Match Monday. And finally, cap off Spirit Week by finding your best friend, or if you don't have one, a twin brother or sister will do. Next Tuesday will be Twin Day, so dress up like someone else for the day. Whatever day you choose to participate, be sure to show your Falcon pride and school spirit. Also, if you want to get in, in on the Falcon Pride but forgot to wear your blue and gray, don't forget that the Oakcrest Media Studio is now selling We Bleed Blue and Gray wristbands for only $2 at the Media Studio. Be sure to stop down and pick one up before they last, while they last. All right, now let's take a look at what's happening in weather for today. Team you can depend on. When it's happening in the skies, you'll see it happening on your TV. For temperatures, outlooks, and conditions, look no further than the news team that does it all. For the up-to-the-minute conditions that you need, this is your Falcon weather forecast. Bleed blue and gray recently with the clouds coming and going, and in the meantime, hitting our area with some rain. During the evening hours, the East Coast is already very flood-prone thanks to the recent hurricanes and damp conditions, so areas like North Jersey and South Philly are being hit hardest. Well, today isn't going to be any different. Expect more scattered clouds throughout the day and tonight. There is once again another chance of rain. By this afternoon, expect the high temperature to be about 71 degrees, and for later, the low 65 this evening. And with that low, there is a 60% chance of showers. Those conditions should, be con should continue throughout the weekend. On Wednesday, we showed you the newest inductees into the Guinness Book of World Records and some of the wacky stunts they pulled to get recognized. Just the other day, there was another unbelievable feat, and if you missed it, well, it really took the cake, or chocolate, for that matter. A new chocolate bar from a specialty candy company is breaking all kinds of baking records from coast to coast, and today we have a special look at that giant chunk of chocolate and how it broke the record, and now who actually has to eat it. The world's largest chocolate bar, that is. This chocolate bar was produced by Chicago's world's finest chocolate company. At 12,000 pounds, the big piece of chocolate has helped the company claim the Guinness World Record for world's largest chocolate bar. It's nearly three feet high and 21 feet long. To get some perspective on just how much chocolate that is, the company says the bar will provide 209,000 one-ounce servings. That's enough for every fan in Chicago's Wrigley Field, U.S. Cellular Field, Soldier Field, and the United Center with 45,000 leftovers. But before that happens, the record-breaking chocolate bar will be on a cross-country journey to schools nationwide as part of the company's Think Big, Eat Smart education program. Uh-huh. That's definitely got to be a lot of calories. All right, next up, we have a reminder that auditions for this year's dance team will be held soon for any dancers looking to put some moves on the dance floor and stage this year. Choreography sessions will be held on September 28th and 29th, and the final audition will be on September 29th. Both the auditions and choreography sessions will be held in room 419 during the activity period. If you're interested, you need to sign up in advance on the dance bulletin board to learn the choreography on the 27th or the 28th or the 29th. All dancers will perform the choreography in front of judges. Let's take a look at what sports fields to see what's happening today. 
First up, we have a girls varsity soccer team who will be home versus Mobile, while the boys varsity soccer team will be away versus Mobile for a game. The girls tennis has a match here at home on the courts versus Ocean City. Also, the girls varsity field hockey team will take on the Ocean City Red Raiders here at home. And finally, there's a big football game here at home tonight against Hamilton starting at 7 p.m. This week, the Falcons are coming off a loss to Millville and are looking to redeem themselves with a big win for the home crowd. Be sure to wear your blue and gray and cheer, them, cheer on the team tonight. Tomorrow, there will be a Saturday detention held in the cafeteria from 9 to 11 a.m. for anyone needing to serve, as well as a girls' volleyball game away at Oma and a freshman soccer game here at home versus Afsagami. Good luck to all of the teams competing both today and tomorrow, and let's hope they come all home with some victories. For today, just a reminder to all 11th period teachers that today the annual senior class photo will be taken on the football field, and right after that, the pep rally will take place for everyone during 12th period. It is an outdoor pep rally, so if you're a student, be sure to bring your bags and clothes with you because everyone will be dismissed following the pep rally. Welcome to be on Twitter for all of the most recent event announcements and school stories, including today's weather and club meeting dates. You can also visit our Falcon TV website for the latest updates on everything Oakcrest and what's happening in the media program. And on our website, you'll find links to videos, photos, and much more. Our site address is at the bottom of the screen, and you can also get to us through our Oakcrest webpage. That was your news for Friday. Thanks for watching, and make sure you're out there supporting the football team tonight and all of the other Oakcrest athletic teams. Good luck to all of you guys. For me, Chris, and everyone else here at the Falcon Studio, we'll see you back here on Monday for more Oakcrest news. I'm Michelle. Have a great weekend.